In this presentation, we will calculate regular and overtime pay for an hourly worker. We'll start off with the calculation of regular pay, which is pretty straightforward as long as we know what how many hours were worked and what the rate is. Note, however, that to know the hours worked for regular pay, we do need to know what the overtime rules are and how to calculate what is regular pay versus overtime pay. For example, if an employee is subject to overtime and they're an hourly worker, we typically have the federal rule that we have to have uh, anything over 40 hours in a work week would then be overtime. So if somebody worked 43 hours in a work week, then 40 of them would be regular, three of them would be overtime. It's possible for states to have more stringent rules such as daily requirements like a eight hour a day work day uh, and anything over eight hours being overtime as well. So we, in that case, would need to be able to calculate the daily wages and subject to what would be overtime. This does get a little bit more complicated because if we're uh, semi-monthly or bi-weekly uh, or monthly payers uh, uh, or process our payroll in those time frames rather than just weekly, then we still, we still need to go back uh, and check the weekly totals and make sure that uh, uh, we're in compliance with the overtime and paying the proper amount for overtime. And if we're subject to daily totals, and then we need to go back and make sure that we're picking up any kind of overtime that would be calculated for, uh, for that as well. Once we know the hours, then it would be, in this case, 40 hours in the work week, just multiplying it times the pay rate, which would be whatever would be agreed upon in the terms of employment, in this case, 17. And 40 times 17, in this case, would be 680 for regular pay. Then we've got the overtime pay. Now the overtime pay, we first need to know what the overtime pay rate will be. Typically, uh, it's gonna be time and a half. It's often called time and a half. Let's try to break down what that actually means though, and we'll see three different calculations we can use to do this. This is a very common calculation in, in daily life as well, so it's important to just understand what this means. So if we, if we had a regular pay of 17, time and a half basically means we're gonna get a 50% raise. It's kind of equivalent to getting a raise of 50% or 0.5 uh, for any hours that are overtime. That means that uh, we got an $8.50 raise on this case, which is 17 times 0.5 or 50%, means that we have an $8.50 basically raise. If we add that to our original 17, that means that our overtime rate is $25.50. This is a similar calculation if we were to calculate, say, a tip or something like that, and it would be a 50% you know, tip, but it would be 17 and then we have 50% we're adding another 850 on it to it and then we have to add the original amount to get to the total dollar that we're going to pay now we could do this a little bit more quickly we could say that the $17 is the original pay and just multiply it times 1.5 time and a half time and a half time 100% and a half another 50% so that's really what we kind of mean by time and a half. It's 1.5, 150%, which means that we're going to multiply 1, which results in 17, and 50, which is the other component, which will give us the 2550. Now, one last way. So this would be the faster calculation. We want to calculate a tip if we had a 20% tip or something. Instead of multiplying times 0.2 or 20% and then adding the original, we could just say times 1.2, and that would give us the, the amount we need to actually pay. So then if we do this again, we've got the regular pay of 17 and we multiply it then 150%, which is just 1.5 times, you know, we'll put to a percent, move the decimal two places over. In other words, if you had 1.5 times 100, it would be 150 or move the decimal two places over 150%. Just another way to say that same thing. So that's what we mean when we multiply the, the overtime rate. Once we have that overtime rate, uh, then it's pretty straightforward to do the overtime calculation. So again, this is kind of the way we might, if we were just to kind of make up the what is overtime by without thinking about it too much, we'd probably come up with this longer calculation. And then we can trim it down to something like this or just another representation like this. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the payroll register and we'll actually calculate the overtime. In this case, note, uh, we've already filled out the regular pay, which was 40 hours at 17, which gives us the 680. Then we're saying there's three hours overtime. There's 43 total hours, 40 of them regular, three hours overtime. And the overtime rate then we're saying is gonna be that 25 
So the total pay is going to be this 76, which would be the 3 hours times 25.5 rate, or 76.5. Off the payroll. You end simulation! End the simulation!